Hi there, welcome to part three of the video series on practicing love during the day of birth. You know, we've, we've, we've talked a lot about um, laboring and giving birth and the joy of having the beautiful baby in your hand um, at that time of, of after giving birth. And so this is this part is all about the wrap up, you know, just thinking a little bit about what we've discussed um, and stepping back for a second and just, just really, you know, the word that comes to my mind is literally love for the whole process and during the day there's so much love involved now for mommy me for mamas out there yes i i can resonate with you feeling a lot of pain a lot of hurt you know mental health issues going down to the lowest of the lower resilience goes down when you're so much physical pain for such a long period of time and i had those out for you and my prayers as well um and i encourage every single one out there as we did in part two, to perhaps send words of love and happiness and joy and strength to every single mama that is actually laboring out there right now. Um, and to take these, some of these practical tips that we've discussed in part two and actually apply them uh, for yourself if you're about to give birth or you're pregnant yourself or you know of somebody who's about to go through that process very soon. Or in the future, who knows, you might, you might um, find yourself needing to revisit this video at some point in time, you know, when it becomes more relevant in your life. Now, um, I'm just going to grab a couple of energy spirit oracle cards and perhaps some of your intuition, just to see if, you know, the spirit guides have anything else to mention um, in terms of that might something that might be actually relevant for the purposes of this video. Because as I mentioned in part one, this is a very impromptu content. Why? Because I, I wasn't intending to talk about the day of birth, quite frankly. Um, it was in my dream last night that I, I literally was creating a video about birthdays. And so I thought a little bit more about it today and I said, right, well, fine. If, if that's what the spirit, what the beautiful angels and archangels want me to speak about, then I will. Um, and here we are. So let's have a look. You know, we talked about the principle of duality, you know, going from pain to absolute, uh, you know, extreme love for when you have your bundle of joy. And so much, there's multiplication of love happening as well because as soon as others see the baba, you know, be the, the midwife, the nurses, the doctors, the family members, there's just the most beautiful multiplication of love that happens during that process. Um, it's, it's just gorgeous, quite frankly, to see, you know. So what we had was two came out, two cards came out right here. One is the spirit guide, the other one is falling apart, or sort of like a tower energy um, from a tower. So falling apart, you know, the, the most instant thing that comes through to me is that during the per, during the process of labor, it may feel like everything is falling apart. It's true because um, your birthing plan is probably out of the window. And what you thought would happen probably isn't how it turned out, but that's okay. Just trust in the divine process and trust in the divine timing of things to occur. And, you know, the other, the other message that's coming through when, with the tower energy in particular and the tower, it's all about life-changing circumstances, right? Things just kind of fall apart so quickly. Um, and, and it may feel during the process like everything is crumbling, you know, physical health, mental health, maybe at its low point, you have so much uncertainty, lack of control. But this is kind of part of part of the transformation process, right? When, when, when energy changes from one state to another, there's a transitional transformational process. And during that time, some significant things could occur. And there are not always positive, but that's okay. That's life, you know, there's the good, then there's the bad, there's a positive, negative. Um, and it, it's all part of um, living, you know, something that we've chosen to do when we came to, you know, incarnate on planet Earth, something we chose to experience, right? And so the, the life-changing part of it is, of course, when, when you become a mama, especially for the first time, if it's your first baby, your life will never be the same. And neither will it be the dad's, you know, dad's life will be changing drastically as well. And 
your whole family dynamic as well. You have a new beautiful family member now in the family. So even though this may um, look like in a you know a negative situation and it can be difficult and challenging, um, there's so much beauty that comes out from change from as a result of new beginnings, as a result of transformation. So trust, trust, trust in that because that's always the case. It always happens. Oh, that's what I've observed in my life anyway. Another one we have a spirit guide that has come through, and that is beautiful, you know. I think this is just a reminder, you know, there's just a man in a cloak hopping through the bushes, you know, just kind of standing there. I think this is a beautiful reminder that um, we all have spirit guides, and so does the baby that is being born. Um, and, you know, funny enough, sorry, something that came that came through just now, the way this man is popping out of this bush is just equivalent, I guess, to the process when the baby um, actually sees that tunnel and sees the light at the end of the tunnel literally and pops out into the beautiful um, planet Earth, um, be that, you know, through natural processes or even, you know, C-sections, those mamas that do um, have had to go through that or are going through that. Um, either way, a baby literally goes from what's effectively darkness for such a long period of time into light, right? So it's, it's effectively very similar to sort of opening a new door, right? Uh, a new door that has light in it all of a sudden. So that's just something that's came through just purely watching the, um, the image here. But spirit guide, you know, we all have spirit guides and tune into those. So as part of practicing your life, you know, thinking, speaking, um, ask for help. Um, have a look at my video um, in which I describe what the purpose of this channel is. I might link it down below. My labor was really, really difficult one, but it was the first time I actually engaged with my spirituality. And I, um, I literally screamed out for help to the universe, and I suspect it was, and you know, I believe in my heart that it was my spirit guides actually listening to me and sending me help, doing whatever is in their power to actually give me the relief that I needed. And so swiftly, the timing of it was just um, magnificent and magical. So um, watch that video if you haven't already. Now, yeah, anything else that comes through? I might just grab a different deck just to see if anything else pops through. For the day of birth, anything else, my friend? Anything else that comes through? But yeah, shout out to all mamas out there. And, and, and as I said, happy birthday to all the babies that have been born. You, you lot are just made of love. That's what it feels like when you get a new baby on your hands. Just full of love and joy. And the best things ever to happen in one's life. Alright, here we go. One card pops through. Confusion. Interesting. So number 13. Many choices and uncertainty. So, and what I see is effectively a light path, Christ with about three paths, paths, and could be past, known, unknown, future, perhaps, maybe. And yes, yeah, so the first thing that instantly comes to mind is the confusion of this whole process. Quite frankly, um, I don't think um, the process of birthing ever goes to plan. And if it does, like, congratulations to you if, if your birth had gone through the birth plan, please comment down below and, and congratulations to you. I just know from my personal experience plus what I've heard of other mamas in my community speak of, it's just nothing ever goes to plan. And the midwife I, I was talking to pretty much said that to us. You know, yes, you've got a great plan, but, you know, let's put it to the side because guess what? Things just happen. And, of course, there's a lot of confusion that can occur during that process of the day of birth. So... Um, um, the other interesting thing, it just uh, what resonates with me is what I've just mentioned before with, with the tower card when I said it's a life-changing situation because it's true. All of a sudden you're in the middle of different paths and when you give birth, or wh whichever way and form that, hap or that occurs and whichever day, you know, your life is never the same and you might be going, you know, you will be following down a different path of your life when you give birth, when you become, you know, a parent for the, for the first time, second time, third time, whatever, you know, any kind of new baby in your life effectively forces you down a particular life path. It's a huge milestone that happens in your life 
and obviously it, it unravels a certain future into your reality. Anything else that might, may come through? Number 13. I know some people may have a, you know, a certain negative feeling when it comes to number 13. I actually think 13 is lucky. Um, it's a lucky number, so every time I see 13, I just say you're my lucky 13. That might be helpful. Um, what might also resonate is, you know, 13 is a cycle in, in the energy of transformation. Um, yeah. And going from, yeah, a new beginning, I suppose. You know, completion of one process and beginning of a new something new. And something beautiful as well. So what it might be uncertain and confusing and... You might have so many different choices as to, you know, how things might might pan, pan out and you might have to make a lot of decisions, you know, during the laboring process and during the day of birth, you know, even after giving birth, you know, taking care of the baby, changing his nappy for the first time, feeding um, the baby for the first time, you know, I, 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 um, hopefully, you know, your milk comes in relatively shortly so that you can um, feed your baby, but, you know, you're, you're going to be breastfeeding straight up effectively um, unless there are some certain challenges or difficulties there now so many choices many things occur during that time that you may have never done before and they'll happen in a very short period of time and that could create a state of confusion and difficulty and challenges but that's okay that's all right you know trust in the fact that many others have gone through that process in the past that so many babies have been born in the past Lots of being born literally as I speak right now and during the time of, you know, you giving birth or that loved one in your life giving birth. And it's it's all part of the process. People have been there, done that, and will continue on giving birth to beautiful Baba. Now, trust, trust in that everything will be well at the end of whichever path you take. Everything's going to be okay. That's all I had. And I feel like, that's the end of what I had to say for today. Now, my last for comment is all the very best to mama bears out there or to your loved ones who are about to give birth, sending you love and strength. You've got this, ladies, you've got this. Now, if you like this kind of type of content, please like, subscribe or comment down below. I would love to see some little baby emojis down below in the comment field or just words of love and happiness or some prayers for mamas out there who are giving birth and going through this, you know, wonderful process and natural part of life that occurs. Now, if uh, I will link up a video in which I actually explain that I made a commitment to donate 22% of my earnings and um, effectively my income under the umbrella of the loving soul, aka Victoria. So your support through subscriptions and, you know, liking the videos and commenting on them, things like that, will really be greatly appreciated and, you know, will result in us multiplying more love with many others out there. So with that, I all hope you all have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching the three parts of this series on the day of birth. I will see you all in my next video. Bye now.